All right, welcome to D.L. Kramer's Custom Cars, and today we're going to mount the fuse box, and uh, we're going to start putting some wiring in this thing, but all we're going to do is we're going to mount the fuse box, hopefully the computer, the star relay, and the regulator for the alternator. So let's get started by, I drilled one hole in the firewall already, and uh, I gotta grab a couple wrenches and stuff, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back again. Okay, oh, let me sit down here. Oh, the beginning of the wiring always kind of sucks, but yeah, you get going. You know, how you guys doing tonight? Are you uh, partying? Or yeah, uh, doing nothing, sitting in front of the TV, just looking for someone to me. Who is looking for? Yeah. So anyway, let's see. I'm not gonna get the nut on there, which I probably can't. Man, I shouldn't have put the seats in here yet, you know, that was dumb of me, because now I'm trying to work around the sharp edges because I don't have no fabric on them yet, on that riser, the seat riser that we made. God, am I dirty from the day. I'm playing underneath this thing. I, I got the exhaust all done. Burnt my arm. Ah, you know it. God, I can't get in here no matter what the heck I do. It's actually kind of frustrating. Hmm. <laughs> How do I do this? I go over the carriage bolt to the firewall, you know, a long one, like this, and then I, so I bolt it up tight on the firewall so it bolts tight, and then I put another nut and a washer on there, and then I put the fuse box, so it gives me room behind the fuse box for wires, and then I'll put a piece of rubber, you know, so I got room here for these wires, so... So anyway, I'm doing the first process of mounting this, and it's never, it's never uh, wired right, you know, the length of the wires. Okay, so then we'll throw another, another nut on there. I can get it started. Hmm. Oh, that's strange. 
One nut goes on, but you all know. A different one, huh? My luck is to grab a bad one. Okay, so then we measure the, we need two and an eighth, and plus the nut and the washer and stuff, two and a half it's got to be out. Okay, so then we need, <laughs> uh, I think I might move this light or something, I don't know, no more foot's on the cord. things this and make sure we know where the top is and the bottom. I'll slide this up there. Let's see, I'm gonna need a washer on there though. Let's throw a washer on there. Okay. And then we'll fill this up there, make sure that we got it top to top, bottom is bottom. As we try to hold all the wires, and watch out for other wires. Fitting this one. Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll give me some room on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now the next step is to pull this back off. Set this out of the way for shavings so we don't get shavings in it. Pull this back apart. Okay. 
like I say, this part is kind of a cluster, just, oh, it'll just, it's hard to work with. Especially when I got wires hanging in, don't need to be hanging in my way. Extended the drill bit out as far as I can. And then I hold that straight. That looks pretty good right there, don't it? So it drills pretty easy. I guess I was just about through. Now what we'll do is I'll go out here and slide the bolt through. Tighten that guy up. Get a see here. Grab a piece of rubber for that quick. All right. So what I did is I cut a piece of rubber, inner tube, you know. And uh, so what I'm gonna do? I put a couple holes in it. One there. 
that up to the firewall. Okay, now what that does, uh, when these wires bend around this, if they do touch that firewall, they ain't going to vibrate through and cause a hellacious fire. Okay. Okay, so now the next step is to put them nuts on there again. Should have marked them, but I didn't. two lock washers so there's like spring pressure. I was going to go with 5 16 bolts but I went with quarter inch. And a flat wash is something good to rest on. box. Now this could be a bear. Let's see. Top one. Why don't we turn on? Okay. So I don't have it far enough. some of the stuff and move my light. Yeah. Okay, now we can do our adjustments. Ouch. Okay. I wonder. I wonder if we should go closer to that firewall. Let's see what. Let's do that.
can't believe I got it good. Okay, now there's some room behind it. So that that's the reason why I use longer longer uh, bolts or whatever. I wish you could see it better. Let's see. I wonder if we can try this one. Eh, it don't work you. What works? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. There we got some sort of view. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll throw maybe two more nuts now. And we need two little washers. And we need a couple of lock washers. Yeah. Now, first we'll put a flat washer on each one of them. washer and the nuts. We gotta make sure that we got it pretty level. And yeah, I think I got her pretty good. access to it. I want to put the starter relay and regulator for the alternator below it so that way if you're ever on the side of the highway and you're changing stuff there's something want the heck on it. You got quite access to everything. And that's what I want. I want access. I gotta get an extension. I might see those studs are a little longer, but that's actually good. What happens if you're ever testing a fuse, you got a ground place, you can put your ground wire for your meter on here. Um, you can put clamps on there, you can whatever. Okay. So there's that. One time I monitored it upside down, so I had to double check. Make sure I didn't do that. Now, 
this is the horn relay. So working them off that. And got an open spot right here. But now let's wait with that. I'm gonna get that wire ran away from there right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do. They have these sections all zip tied. So I'm just gonna un do the roll ends. Okay, what would this be? I thought the wires were marked. Well, I guess I bought a harness where the wires ain't marked. Well, that's good. Well, they are marked. Barely read it. Okay, if I can read one, then I'll know. Right front, okay, this is the front harness. So this one will be running up to the front. So it's gonna run to the, that, that side over there. You know, it's always fun wiring a car up. Because it's just fun. Come on. I'm going to pull through there. That's where I want you to go. Enough of them. Oh, ice. Okay. Okay. I think time I'm done, all these will go to there anyway. You can barely read that. Oh, maybe it's the light that's doing it. Uh, all I gotta do is read one, and I know where it goes. I can't read them. Okay, these are ignition wires. I know that much, so that'll go up here. Okay. And these. I think they're all like gauge power. And... Okay, well, it's... what are these? These are rear wires, ain't they? Find one to read. Right. Right rear turn. Yep. Rear, rear harness. Just like I thought. But you gotta double check things when you're wiring. Then you gotta double check them again. 
And if you got one question, then you gotta check them again. Let's see. I think we're gonna one more time here. There we go. Alright, I should go one more. Okay. We've got left here. Just one. Okay, so this will go to the right rear, so this has to follow that one. At least they use cheap uh, wire ties on them. Well, that was easy. That was almost too easy. Okay, so then they go there. I've got some loose wires here now. Wire covering on them. Okay, there we go. And these. What are these now? They're all dashed things. Yeah, okay. Door lights. Radio, all kinds of crazy shit. So, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll take these then for now. Get more to call. But I know what I've been doing for the last 20 years of my life. I kind of look like what I'm doing, but maybe I don't. I don't know. Do I? 